All right, so are you dreaming of hitting that seven-figure mark online? We're right there with you. And today we're diving deep into these strategies from entrepreneurs who've actually done it. Get ready for some serious inspiration because these folks are proof that it's totally possible. What's so interesting is that there's no one right way to achieve online success. These entrepreneurs took different paths, but they all share this drive to learn, adapt, and offer something truly valuable. Yeah. We're going to break down those paths so you can see which one might resonate with you. We've got stories from YouTube stars, seasoned online business owners, and even some surprising insights on how to use familiar platforms in new ways. We're going to unpack all of it, but first I have to mention Brian Garvin. You can find him at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an IT. He's got this awesome free affiliate guide called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, over 12,300 words of pure gold, and you can grab it right from his YouTube bio. Trust me, this guide is a fantastic resource if you're serious about making it big online. Now let's jump into these entrepreneur stories and see what we can learn. One model that's been making waves is the online education platform school. YouTuber Max Person has been really open about his success using it, and it's pretty remarkable. Yeah, Person actually talks about how burnt out he was running his social media marketing agency, trading time for money, dealing with clients. It just wasn't fulfilling. But then he found school and everything changed. What was it about school that clicked for him? It's interesting because Person was already familiar with online courses, having bought some back in 2017 from Sam Ovens, who actually co-founded School. So Person had that knowledge base to work with, plus he already had a YouTube audience. He leveraged both of those things to get his school off the ground. Ah, so he wasn't starting from scratch, but still to pull in $30,000 a month within the first 30 days is impressive. Right, and School seems to have tapped into what a lot of people are looking for, online communities recurring revenue, Plus, they've gamified the platform with these school games where people compete for prizes. It's like they combined education with a reality show. Get the skills network with others, A and D, maybe win some cash. Sounds pretty tempting. But like you said, person had a head start. It wasn't just overnight success. Exactly. And that's important for you to keep in mind as we go through these different stories. Think about the context. Did these entrepreneurs have advantages? Were they following established frameworks? This critical thinking will help you assess what's realistic for your own goals. Now let's talk about something a little unexpected. VIP Financial Education, a YouTube channel, actually credits a lot of their success to YouTube Premium. They had seven figures in a year, and they say Premium played a big role. Did you find that surprising? It might seem counterintuitive at first, but their reasoning makes sense. Think about it. YouTube Premium removes ads so you're not getting distracted. You can play videos in the background, download them for offline viewing, even adjust the playback speed. It's all about maximizing learning efficiency. Okay, see, now this is something I can get behind. Learning on the go at my own pace, no distractions. That's how I like to soak up information. And that's exactly how VIP Financial Education leveraged it. That constant stream of focused learning without the interruptions helped them grow incredibly fast. It shows that even familiar tools can be game changers when used strategically. So it's not just about what you're learning, but how you're learning it. They make a great point there. And speaking of learning from the best VIP financial education, recommend some specific YouTube channels that help them. First up, Russell Brunson. Yes, Brunson's known as the ClickFunnels King. He really digs into sales funnels and strategies for building online businesses. VIP Financial Education found his insights incredibly valuable. Makes sense. Sales funnels are key for any online business. They also highlighted Wholesale Ted, right? Something about Shopify and dropshipping. Right. Wholesale Ted focuses on Sarah's strategies for those platforms. And if you're interested in selling on Amazon, they recommend Kevin David. He really showcases the potential even for younger entrepreneurs. There's an example of an 18-year-old making $40,000 a month using his methods. Whoa, now that's inspiring. It just goes to show age is no barrier when it comes to crushing it online. Yeah. And it all starts with the right knowledge. You know, just like the kind you'd find in Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide. You can find it over at briangarvin.com. And that's Brian with an i fee fe He breaks down affiliate marketing in over 12,300 words. It's like having a personal mentor at your fingertips. Just yeah. saying. It's fascinating how these YouTube channels act as roadmaps. They've already gone through the trial and error, figured out what works, and they're sharing that knowledge. Investing in their expertise can save you a lot of time and headaches compared to trying to figure everything out on your own. It's like having a mentor in your pocket. And speaking of mentors, we came across Eric Thane, a filmmaker who built a multi-seven-figure business selling online courses about cinematography. He actually transitioned from running a service-based agency, which he found way too demanding, 
What was the secret sauce? Thane's story is a great example of packaging your expertise and reaching a global audience online. He started with a single course, but then he strategically expanded his offerings, creating what he calls a value ladder. Okay, I'm intrigued. What exactly is a value ladder? It's basically offering different products at different price points. You start with smaller, more accessible options that introduce people to your expertise, and then you lead them up to higher priced, more comprehensive programs. Thane calls these smaller products mighty offers. They give people a taste and then naturally guide them toward his flagship course or coaching. So it's about meeting people where they're at and gradually building that trust and value. I like yeah. that. And it makes me think that almost anyone could create and sell courses. You just need to figure out what you're good at and what others want to learn. Exactly. And that's a question worth thinking about. What skills or knowledge do you have that could be turned into an online course? You might be surprised at the demand. And it's not like you'd have to reinvent the wheel. There are platforms like school resources and tons of frameworks out there to help you get started. It's all about finding what works for you. Absolutely. Remember what Max Person said, copy successful models. Find someone who's already making millions in a field you're passionate about and study how they do it. Understand what works and then add your own unique spin. It's about taking the shortcuts learning from those who've already paved the way. And you know, another great shortcut is Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide over at BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an eye elder. He really lays out the steps to affiliate marketing success. It's a must read for anyone wanting to make passive income online. Okay, back to the entrepreneurs. We talked about learning from others, but John Artsberger from the from Failure to Freedom YouTube channel really stresses the set it and forget it approach. He's all about automation. Artsberger is a big advocate for affiliate marketing, and he focuses on building systems that generate passive income. He's very transparent about his earnings, which proves that his methods actually work. It's a pretty inspiring approach, especially for those of us who dream of financial freedom and having more time for our passions. Yeah, that time freedom aspect is super appealing. So how does he make this set it and forget it thing happen? He recommends a platform called TA for paid advertising. They offer these 12 month traffic packages. Basically you pay a monthly fee and they consistently drive traffic to your offers for a whole year. So you're essentially outsourcing lead generation. It's like having a team of virtual marketers working for you around the clock. Exactly. And this approach really highlights the importance of patience and a long-term mindset. It's not about getting rich quick. It's about setting up systems that work for you while you focus on other things. It's like planting seeds and then letting them grow. It takes time and consistency, but the potential rewards are huge. All right, before we move on, I just want to remind everyone about Brian Garvin and his amazing free affiliate guide. You can find it at BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an aisle. Over 12,300 words of pure gold just waiting for you to download. It's seriously a game changer. Okay, now let's switch gears and talk about something a little different. Newsletters. Ah, yes. Cody Sanchez, a successful entrepreneur and investor, has built a thriving business around newsletters. She's pulling in between $400,000 and $600,000 per month. Hold on from emails. That's incredible. What's the secret? Sanchez emphasizes a key point that a lot of people miss. Email newsletters convert way better than social media. It's about having your own audience, that direct connection, and consistently delivering valuable content. It's like having a loyal tribe who trusts your recommendations and are eager to see what you have to say. But you're right, starting a newsletter might seem daunting. Yeah, where do you even begin? Sanchez offers some great tips. First, pick a topic you're truly passionate about. That enthusiasm will shine through in your writing and resonate with your readers. Makes sense. You have got to love what you're writing about. Otherwise, it'll feel like a chore. What else does she suggest? She recommends partnering with other newsletters for growth. You find someone with a similar audience and cross promote each other's content. It's a win win for everyone involved. Ah, so you're leveraging each other's reach. Smart. Any other tips? Finally, she stresses the importance of exploring different ways to make money from your newsletter. You can do ads, sponsorships, affiliate marketing, even sell your own products or services. So it's like a multifaceted income stream, all driven by email. It's amazing how powerful a simple newsletter can be. You know, it's fascinating how all these different strategies point to the same core idea, finding your unique value proposition, whether it's teaching cinematography like Eric Thane or creating a thriving community around financial education like VIP financial education. It's about finding a need and filling it in a way that resonates with people. You've hit the nail on the head. In fact, Max Person actually said, find someone online who's already selling a similar course and best case scenario, they are already making millions of dollars. The more they make, the better. He's basically saying, find what works and model it. But isn't that just copying? 
Well, Person is a big believer in studying what's already successful because it indicates there's a market for it. But he also stresses the importance of adding your own spin, your unique personality and insights. So it's about finding that balance between proven strategies and being authentically you, you. That makes a lot of sense. And I think that applies to any online business, whether it's courses, a YouTube channel or a newsletter. It all starts with figuring out what value you can offer that's both in demand and true to yourself. Absolutely. Finding your niche is crucial. But once you've got that, you need to reach your target audience and turn them into paying customers. That's where things like sales funnels, email marketing and paid advertising come in. OK, let's break those down. What's a sales funnel? It sounds a bit intimidating. Think of it as a series of steps that guide a potential customer towards making a purchase. It often starts with awareness. They see an ad or come across your content somehow. Then comes interest. They learn more about what you offer and start to see how it could benefit them. This could involve things like free ebooks, webinars, or just valuable content on social media. So you're piquing their curiosity and establishing yourself as an authority. Exactly. And as their interest grows, you move them towards the consideration phase where they start comparing your offer to others. This is where things like testimonials, case studies, and really explaining the value of your product or service come in. You're building that trust and showing them you have a solution to their problem. Right. And finally, you guide them to the decision stage where they're ready to buy. This is where a clear call to action, a smooth checkout process, and maybe even a limited time offer can seal the deal. It's like a well choreographed dance, leading them from curiosity to customer. But it doesn't end there, right? What about keeping those customers engaged? That's where email marketing comes in. By collecting email addresses, you can stay in touch, deliver valuable content, promote new offers, and nurture those relationships. It's about staying top of mind and building a community around your brand. So email is like that direct line to your customer, a way to keep the conversation going. And it can clearly be super effective, like we saw with Cody Sanchez and her newsletter success. Remember, she stressed that email has much higher conversion rates than social media. It's because you're speaking directly to your audience, delivering your message in a more personalized way. It's like having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, mm -hmm. which is way more powerful than shouting into the void of social media. Mm -hmm. But what about paid advertising? There's so much competition online. How do you stand out and make sure your message is seen by the right people? It all comes back to understanding your target audience. Yeah. You need to know who you're trying to reach, what they struggle with, and what solutions you can offer. It's about putting yourself in their shoes and figuring out what makes them tick. What are their pain points? What are their desires? Exactly. And once you understand that you can craft ads that speak directly to their needs and desires, think strong visuals, compelling headlines, and clear calls to action. You've got to grab their attention and make them want to learn more. It's like a mini movie that pulls them in and makes them think, hey, I need this. Precisely. Yeah. And platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Google Ads let you target your ads to very specific demographics, interests, and behaviors. Your message reaches the people who are most likely to be interested. It's laser-focused marketing. Yeah. No more of that spray-and-pray approach. It's about getting the right message to the right people at the right time. Absolutely. It's amazing how much the marketing landscape has changed in the digital age. It's not about reaching the masses anymore. It's about making genuine connections. It's about building relationships, fostering trust, and providing real value. It's a win-win for everyone involved. Beautifully put. And that philosophy is at the heart of any successful online business. It's not just about making money. It's about making a difference. You know, it's amazing how much valuable information is out there online for free. Mm. It's like a giant library of knowledge just waiting to be tapped into. And yet so many people still struggle to find success online. What do you think holds them back? That's a great question. Um, I think it's often a mix of things. You know, sometimes it's a lack of focus, not having a clear niche or target audience. Right. Other times it's giving up too easily, you know, when things get tough. You're so right. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by all the information and the pressure to keep up with the latest trends. It can feel like you're drowning in it all. Yeah. But even with all the noise, some basic principles never change. Absolutely. Things like providing real value, building genuine relationships, and focusing on long-term growth instead of quick wins. It's about understanding that success is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about showing up consistently, putting in the work, and learning from every experience. you got to embrace the whole journey the ups and downs, the wins and losses. Exactly. It's about cultivating that growth mindset and believing in your ability to achieve your goals. And it's also about finding your tribe, your support system, whether online or offline. Yeah, because let's be honest, 
Entrepreneurship can be lonely sometimes. It's easy to get discouraged, doubt yourself, to feel like you're the only one struggling. But that's where connecting with others, sharing experiences, and learning from each other can make all the difference. It's about finding those mentors, those guides, those cheerleaders who can offer encouragement, advice, and a fresh perspective. And it's also about giving back, supporting others on their journey, and contributing to a positive and collaborative online community. Creating a rising tide that lifts all boats. Yeah. Because ultimately, success isn't just about individual achievement. It's about making a difference leaving the world a little better than you found it. And the incredible thing about online business is that it gives you the tools to do just that. It allows you to amplify your voice, share your passions, and connect with people all over the world. It's about creating something meaningful, something that resonates with others and has a positive impact. It's about finding your purpose and living it out loud. And that's a journey open to anyone who's willing to dream big, take action, and never give up on their vision. So what's holding you back? What skill or passion could you turn into a thriving online business? Think about that and explore the resources we've talked about today. You never know what doors might open. Couldn't have said it better myself. We've covered a lot of ground in this deep dive, and I hope it sparks some ideas and inspiration for you. Remember, there's no one right way to make it online. It's about finding what works for you, taking action, and never stopping learning. And if you're looking for some guidance on how to navigate this exciting world of online business, make sure you check out Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide. You can find it over at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. It's packed with over 12,300 words of actionable advice, and it's completely free. It's like having a personal mentor in your pocket ready to guide you every step of the way. So go out there, explore those possibilities, and make your online dreams a reality. Until next time, happy diving.